You are the face of God. I hold you in my heart. You are a part of me. You are the face of God. You are the face of God. I hold you in my heart. You are a part of me. You are the face of God. You are the face of God. Tu es l'image de Dieu. I hold you in my heart. Tu es l'image de l'amour. You are a part of me. You are the face of God. You are the face of God. Tu sais la luce di Dio. I hold you in my heart. Tu sais il volto dell'amore. You are a You are the face of God I hold you in my heart You are a part of me You are the face of God You are the face of God I hold you in my heart You are a part of me You are the face of God You 
Good morning, and welcome to Spiritual Life Center, a church that love is building. Only the presence of the Lord is in this place. I can feel God. 
God's mighty power and God's grace. I can hear the brush of angels' wings. I see glory on each face. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. Let us pray. Dear God, we call on you this morning to be so fully alive in us that we are empowered to align ourselves with your mighty presence, to step forward boldly into our lives, to know our oneness with you, and to do that which is ours to do, to heal that which is ours to heal, and to Feel that which is ours to feel. All of this that we might live in a way that glorifies your name, extends your kingdom, and blesses your people. We embrace this in the name and through the power and in the nature of the Christ Spirit that lives within each one of us. Amen. Tomorrow morning, if you wake up and the sun does not appear, I, I will be here. If in the dark you lose sight of love, be at peace and have no fear, cause I, I will be here, I will be here, when you feel like being quiet, when you need to speak your mind, I will listen and I will be here, when the laughter turns to crying, through the winning, losing, and trying, we'll be together, cause I will be here. Tomorrow morning if you wake up and the future is unclear, I, I will be here. Just as sure the seasons were made for change, your lifetimes were made for these years. For I, I will be here. I will be here. And you can cry on my shoulder when the mirror tells you you're older. Someone will hold you, and I will be here, watching you grow in beauty, making clear all that you are to me. I will be here, I will be here, and just as sure as seasons were made for change, your lifetimes were made for these years. So I, I will be here, we'll be together, cause I will be here. In, in Isaiah 55, Verse 12, for you shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills before you break forth in singing and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. I thank you, God, for this new day, for the freedom to start again. I consciously let go of any feelings that are not of God, any hurts, resentments, fears, I ask that you open my heart, God. Make me an instrument of your peace and joy and dignity. Let me live my life for good and add to the music of the spheres. And now I invite you to join me 
as we prepare for a meditation. And let us start by allowing our breathing to just let us relax and ask your mind to be still. You may want to close your eyes to the distractions and focus only within. Let us turn to that quiet place where all of life's answers are. God is with me now in this very place. I now know that this is a place wherever that might be. And it's the right place for me because God is here. Oh God, how many times have I searched here and there looking for answers, for guidance, for direction. And all the time, you, the source of all wisdom, was never farther away than breathing. My life is about remembering and forgetting. I consciously remember now the purpose of my human birth, and that is to still my mind, to just listen, and to remember the truth about me. There is a place within that the ancients have called the Holy of Holies. I dwell in that place with you now, and I feel your presence. Let us join together as we take a moment of silence and focus within. Your hands have made and fashioned me, Lord. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments, to know your desires for me, for my life. You have created me, fashioned me in your image and likeness. My soul just longs to know you better, to love you more, so that I may serve you using the gifts that are uniquely mine. Within each of us is contained a great life with real gifts to give and to share that will make a difference in the world. And so we continue to open to this great love that each of us carries within. As we take time each day to listen, we come to see that our part is important. A part of a greater whole designed to bring peace and harmony joy and love to a world in need. As I continue to open myself to your directions, Lord, my capacity to love and to give, to share myself with my world increases. As I come alive with your spirit, my fears dissolve. My life becomes the exciting adventure it was meant to be. As we go back into our day, into our world, let us remember that God is in every moment, in every circumstance. God speaks through us, works through us, loves through us, and God blesses others through us. We are creating new lives because of the choices we are making. And so with grateful hearts for our lives, and the miracles that are yet to come. Let us sing and pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, Give us. 
us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever amen when you're down and troubled and you need some love and care and nothing nothing is going right close your eyes and think of me and soon i will be there to brighten up even your darkest night you just call out my name and you know wherever i am i'll come running to see you again winter spring summer or fall all you have to do is call and i'll be You got a friend If the sky above you Grows dark and full of clouds And that old north wind begins to blow Keep your head together And call my name out loud Soon hear me knocking at your door you just call out my name and you know wherever i am i'll come running running yeah to see you again winter spring summer or fall all you have to do is call and i'll be there yes i will now ain't it good to know that you've got a friend when people can be so cold they'll hurt you and desert you oh They'll take your soul if you let them, oh, but don't you let them. You just call out my name, and you know wherever I am, I'll come running, running, yeah, to see you again. Winter, spring, summer, or fall, all you have to do is call, and I'll be there, yes I will. You've got a friend, oh, you've got a friend, you've got a friend. Hi friends, Martha Creek here, MarthaCreek.com to contact me. February is my birth month, February, February, and Aquarians rule. So it's a special time for many reasons, like to celebrate being alive and to celebrate the bounty of life. You know, I wrote at Christmas time that Every single day is like Christmas day for me. I get so many gifts, grace, mercy, calls, text, caring, offers, support, gifts. Like it's 
not just a Christmas day, but a Christmas life. And the truth is, it's a birthday life as well. Like every day is my birthday. And this time of the year, it's like to celebrate that. And friends come from all over to want to join in. Or can we come there for your birthday? Can you come here for your birthday? Can we take a trip for your birthday? So what a bounty. What a bounty. And someone said, I don't know who, a love too big to bear even at times that it can't be a yes to everything, not to everybody coming, not to me going everywhere, not to every trip, but a yes to some, a yes to some of it and a yes to all of it in the heart, whether we actually do that or not. So the last few years, I've asked friends that wanted to gift me to send their gifts to pay it forward, to be part of the philanthropic goals that I have to uplift organizations that are providing essential, essential life for many. And the one organization I've benefited um, by give, d- directing these gifts to has been Waterstep. Waterstep.com if you want to check that out. And they're the first responders to get water restored in any areas of disaster, loss, tragedy, Uh, They're headquartered in Louisville, Kentucky, founded there. The founder is still there and still on board. And it's, it's just a great, clear way for me to know the vital nature of water and the life giving nature of water and how, yes, essential it is to get it restored as soon as possible. I also am looking in this talk and this reflection today at the essential nature of friendships. I call them gifts from God. So what about your friends and your friendships? And I started to look at how it was defined, for example, the the word itself, as usual, which I would look at depending on the topic, a state of enduring affection, friendship, a state of enduring affection, esteem, intimacy, and trust between to people or between people. In every culture, in all cultures, friendships are important relationships throughout the span of our life. Like our relationship with God for me is vital and my well-being, my caring for my relationship with the divine, prayer, meditation, contemplation, reflection, connection, alignment, remembering, and the same with people and the same value as people, like to to cultivate my relationship with the divine and to cultivate my relationships in the human, with the human, and the human of me. So nothing could be truer for me than the important nature of relationships over friendships throughout my lifespan. And I've got friends that I've had since I was born. Literally, my one of my closest friends was born January. And a few days later, a few weeks later, I was born next door to her. Our mothers were best friends, went to a factory together. My mother drove her mother with her to work every day. So throughout a lifetime. So now she's got kids, grandkids, great grandkids. And I've got friends that... I met just a few days ago when we were out um, with Hadlin in a trampoline park. Friends, friendliness, smile, somebody that wanted an exchange of our name and number so maybe we could play together. So friendships deep and abiding and friendships new, always coming in, always a potential for a new friend. So how would you define your friendships? What are the characteristics of you as a friend, your friendships? I noticed when I tried to write this out that my list was really, 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 really long. But forgiveness, mercy, grace, tolerance, a constant force toward life, including death 
and a tether into even during the times of death and loss that there's this constant awareness of life, even in the death and the loss. Integrity, trustworthiness, dependability, utility, which we'll get to in a minute because it kind of surprised me. Utility, utility, friends, because just before I sat down here to do this, I had to call someone and ask for a favor to send a fax off for me. So somebody to work with me to get work done. Loyal, empathetic, challenges me to think differently, challenges me to come out of things. But the difference is it's not challenging. It's not a challenging energy, of not a force energy, but the heart is leading. So the heart first, challenge second. And I certainly endeavor when I'm going to challenge somebody that my heart's out front. So heart first, challenge second. Listen, a listener, confident, confident. Confidante, confidant, confident building, hopeful. And it feels good when we've been together, when we are together, looking forward to it. And friends, the shocking capstone of my list of the qualities and values of friends is ease. Now this has come with age and aging. I noticed as I get older, I actually do get older. Ease, a, a different ease, like less energy, less efforting. So I also found four types in the de definition of this, of friendship, an acquaintance, friend, close friend and best friend. And I've never once in my life so far identified as a best friend. Now others identify me as their best friend <laughs> and even kind of argue over that sometimes as they call me my Martha. And I don't have that identification and I don't mind. So you likely may have a best friend. God bless it. Close friends. God bless it. Friends. And yes, acquaintances. God bless them. God bless it all. This is for our sense of pleasure. A gift. And a, a chance to uplift it, to give gratitude for it. And I'm like, don't wait till it's their birthday to send them a note or a call or a text or an email. Call them. I mean, it's almost a luxury anymore to get a call or to send a, a note in the mail. So whoever your friends are or whoever brought you that friend, thank them. Back to the power of our gratitude and and to give glory to God for what made all of it possible, literally to make all of it possible. Also looked, and Aristotle had some distinguishing characteristics of friends that were interesting to me. And he, he described it as friendships of pleasure. Friendships of utility. And friendships of virtue. Maybe some of your friends are all three. I can tell you, in my case, most of my friends are all three. For pleasure, for utility, and for virtue. And I know beyond a shadow of a doubt, I can see clearly in these types and all other definitions of this, that I have got to be careful not to demand pleasure and not to demand utility and to allow for it to be there and for it not to be there. The same I would want someone to offer to me. 
So what are the true values? What do you get? What do you know of that you get from friends and friendships? I know for me, I could never measure it. And even my gratitude for it is not really, it's unspeakable. It's so big. It's so much. I don't know how I'd ever find the words to say how grateful I am for the friends I've had and the friends I have. And yes, for the friends I will have. And most especially for the friend I have in creator, in source, in God, in life, in universe. And how much that relationship means to me and is for my well-being. To nurture my relationship with divine. The divine. The divine in you. The divine in me. And the divine of the universal divine. So it's clear that these friendships are for our well-being. Vital actually to our mental health, emotional health, physical health psychological health, and to the quality of our life. And these friendships are an opportunity to live our principles, to live as the one power, the one presence, the, the very divine nature in me, to see and nurture the divine nature in other people, to uplift that, to join in friendship in times of med meditation, contemplation, reflection, Uplift, a service project, a trip, game night, knitting, sewing, movies, whatever. It's also critical, vital. These friendships mirror back to ourselves, ourselves, so that I can learn about myself. I can learn where my edges are. I can learn where I can get demanding and willful and, and, controlling and manipulative and other things that I don't want to do as much of, that I want to mature through and overcome. So I get to learn about myself. I get to mature emotionally through my friendships and therefore mature spiritually through the friendships. And it certainly opens to a fuller experience of God as these. The joy of friendships. Deep friendships like I have and am blessed with offer solace, comfort during hard times, and absolute joy, delight, and laugh till your face hurts, delight and happiness in other times. And the kind of friends I have and likely you, even if we've spent years or months without seeing each other, years now during some of this shutdown, we pick right back up, right where we left off, just like no time existed. Just this morning, a colleague said, you know, it's been two years since I was in that ministry. And I couldn't believe it. It's like it was just a second ago that she was there. And still our time there and our experiences were there are just as meaningful as if it's now. So think about this. And biblical quotes about friendship are there to draw on that. When one of us falls to pick the other one up. I think from Ecclesiastes I put in here. Be the first to forgive, to forgive as I want to be forgiven. So all sorts of scripture, all sorts of direction to care for our relationships. Now, this is a poem that I'll read from David White, which is spelled W-H-Y-T-E. So I offer it here as a blessing. So I confer a blessing with this reading. I confer a blessing to you as a friend of mine that you're here and hearing this with gratitude and a birthday gift to me. You are just by being here and by doing what you're doing in the world, by making the world a better place. Friendship is a mirror to presence and a testament to forgiveness. 
Friendship not only helps us to see ourselves through another's eyes, but can be sustained over the years only with someone who has repeatedly forgiven us for our trespasses. As we must find it in ourselves to forgive them their trespasses in turn. A friend knows our difficulties and shadows and remains in sight. A companion to our vulnerabilities more than even our triumphs. When we are under the strange illusion, we do not need them, especially. An undercurrent of real friendship is a blessing exactly because its elemental form is rediscovered again and again through understanding and mercy. All friendships of any length are based on a continued mutual forgiveness. Without tolerance and mercy, all friendships would die. So does this friendship sound like we could replace the word God with friendship? God is a mirror to presence and a testament to forgiveness. God only not God not only helps me to see myself through another's eyes, but sustains over the years as someone who repeatedly forgives me my trespasses. God knows our difficulties and our shadows and stays in light. God stays a companion for our vulnerabilities more than our triumphs. And when we're under the strange illusion, we do not need God especially. God is there. An undercurrent of God is a blessing exactly because God is an elemental form that we rediscover again and again and again through understanding and mercy. More from the reading. In the course of the years, a close friendship will always reveal the shadow in the other as much as ourselves. To remain friends, we must know the other and their difficulties and yes, even their sins and encourage even the best in them. Encourage the best in them. Not through critique, not through criticism, but through addressing the better part of them the leading creative edge of their incarnation, the subtly discouraging what makes them smaller, less generous, or less of themselves, a subtle discouraging of that. Friendship is the great hidden transmuter of all relationships. It can transform a troubled marriage, make honorable a professional rivalry, make sense of heartbreak and unrequited love, and become the newly discovered ground for a mature parent-child relationship. The dynamic of friendship is almost always underestimated as a constant force in life, our human life. A diminishing circle of friends is the first terrible diagnostic of a life that's deep in trouble. Diminishing circles of friends. It is a sign of overwork, of too much emphasis on professional identity, of forgetting who will be there when our armored personalities run into the inevitable natural disasters and vulnerabilities found even in the most ordinary of our human existence. Friendships transcend disappearance. An enduring friendship goes on after death. I know this to be true. The exchange only transmuted by absence. The exchange transmuted by absence. 
the relationship advancing and maturing in a silent, eternal conversation, in a silent, internal conversation, way even after one half of the bond has passed on. But no matter the medicinal virtues of being a true friend or sustaining a long, close relationship with another, the ultimate touch tone of friendship, touchstone of friendship, is not improvement, neither of the self or the other. The ultimate touchstone is witness, the privilege of having been seen by someone and the equal privilege of being granted the sight of the essence of another. To have walked with them, to have believed in them, and sometimes just to have accompanied them for however a brief a span on a journey impossible to accomplish alone. An excerpt from a book, Friendship and Consolations by David White. I'm devoted to friends, to friendships, to well-being, to integrity, and to my own soul's evolution through this glorious gift from God. Thank you, friends. Thank you for being a friend. And thank you for caring for you as a friend and your friends. Namaste. All my love and blessings. Martha Creek to contact me.
We are grateful for this beautiful note to a friend. And we thank you, Nancy Ingalls, for your marvelous singing this morning. Reverend Martha, that was a marvelous, wonderful message. Thank you. We are pleased that each of you could join us for this morning's service, and we invite you now to join in our prayer of sharing. Divine love through me blesses and multiplies all that I have, all that I give, and all that I receive. And we would be so very grateful for your donation to Spiritual Life Center, and there are four ways that you can make this happen. First is online through our secure website, www.slctroy.com forward slash give. A second way is to mail a check to Spiritual Life Center, 41340 Fox Run Road, number 106, Dovi, Michigan, 48377. A third way, call my cell 248-925-6214 with credit card information that you provide directly to me for a one-time charge. A fourth way is to go to the weekly Friday email and in there you will see in a couple places donate online or donate now and if you click on that it will be clear how to proceed. We welcome you if you are joining us for one of your first times and we invite you to join our email list by visiting our website www.slctroy.com and in the upper right corner you'll see join email list if you will click on that you'll see that you can enter your name and your email address and we will have you receive our friday morning weekly email that has the link to the upcoming sunday service as well as the link to upcoming classes and it will entail providing you all of the information about activities upcoming which we welcome you to participate in if you have a prayer request send these to ronaldfscott at gmail.com we will forward these to our prayer team of more than 30 praying members of the church who will hold you and your loved ones in the highest we also forward these on to Silent Unity, where they are prayed over for 30 days at Unity Village. If you want to call Silent Unity on your own, you're welcome to do so and pray directly with a prayer chaplain at Unity Village. Their number is 1-800-NOW-PRAY. Next Sunday, in preparation for Valentine's Day, we will consider how vital love is in each of our lives and those of the people around us. This will include a whole new way of viewing how many of us may have seen this intrinsic part of our life. If you have listened on YouTube to any of the first few classes of Reverend Anita's six-week class on prosperity, you know how remarkable it is. The fourth class today focuses on spiritual prosperity, and it will be available on our YouTube channel later today. You are welcome to attend a celebration of life service for our dear Brenda Andeko that her family has asked me to perform on Saturday, February 25th. It will be at the Orion Center, the Orion Center, on Jaslin Road in Lake Orion between 3 and 5 in the afternoon. It'll begin at 3 in the afternoon, and you will receive details soon in an email. Our Spiritual Life Center annual meeting will be Sunday, February 26th, on Zoom, following the Sunday service. A link will be in the Friday email two days before, and we hope many of you will join it. Immediately, 
Following the end of today's service, everyone is invited to join us on Zoom for a time of social connection. The link was in your Friday email. But first, let's join together in our peace song and benediction. God bless. As you go forth, know that the light of God surrounds you, the love of God enfolds you. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The power of God protects you. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The presence of God watches over you. The Lord lift up Continents upon thee and grant thee peace. Wherever you are, God is. Amen. Amen. Go your way rejoicing. All is truly well.